We have now studied over 1,500 LinkedIn profiles and we've in fact spoken to them so we know exactly how much money they're making. And there's a really, really interesting thing we discovered about how people with smaller audiences are actually doing something that's making a huge difference to the amount of money they make. And it's even making them more money than supposed people with big audiences. By the end of this short video, you'll know exactly what to do and what to put in place on your LinkedIn profile so that you can also get more money, more reach, more clients, and relax without this endless cycle of referrals and not getting clients. Let me just show you what we're gonna go through. We're gonna go through through the feel, the first level feel and the frame. We're gonna go through the t-shirt and the GIF, and this is ethos. And then of course, the most important of all, transition. This is the really important part that's making the difference. So let's begin with the feel of the profile. Now, my mum always told me, I don't know if your mum always told you this, you only get one chance to make a first impression. And it's some certainly something we know to be true. And this is not about the headline. This is not about writing a summary section. It's not about your story. It's not about anything like that. It's about the frame. Now you might think, what's the frame and the feel of the profile, Mark? So the brain processes images a lot quicker than it processes text. If you think of Netflix, if you think of Amazon Video, if you think of YouTube, that's the reason so people put so much effort into thumbnails. That's why billboards are so creative with their imagery. And how can we capitalize upon this in our LinkedIn profile? Well, we first of all need to do two things. We need to keep the cover image clean. And more importantly, we need to make sure our profile image positions us as an authority or an expert. And it's really, really simple to do this. So if I just share my screen there, you can see here, I've had all my images rated for authority, likability, and trust. Believe me when I say this, we've worked with a lot of people in seven years. Changing this out has got a lot of people a return. You don't need a professional headshot photographer to do this. You could go and get the photo today. All you need to do is you just need to be outside with a reasonably plain background that's a different color to your shirt. If your shirt's pink, white background. And then you just want to say to someone you trust, say something that's gonna, I did this with my wife, Paula. I said, and I said, just say stuff. And, and she started saying, just imagine your son doing this. Just imagine Sienna doing this. Just imagine we've done this. And you can see immediately my, my face is coming out with, with a natural emotion. And while she's doing it, just, or he's doing it or, or whatever, click, 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 click. And it's always gonna be the photo in between the photo that is gonna be your best candid image. What's candid image? Relaxed, natural, and get the high score. So try that. That's the biggest thing that you can do right there to move your profile apart from number three, the, um, the, the conversion we'll get onto in a moment. So what's the second thing? Ethos. So if you're read upon your Greek, your Greek history, you will no doubt heard of Aristotle and his philosophies. Now what Aristotle had was a very interesting take on persuasion and speaking and virtually everything. In fact, everything I would argue that you see today from all the so-called experts in our feeds goes back to what he says. One of the things he talks about is you've got to have ethos present in any presentation or any persuasion. And what's your LinkedIn profile about? It's about persuasion. What's you persuading people about? That you're an authority, that you can be trusted, that you are a safe option. Because LinkedIn has changed in 2024. There's more competition than ever. You're not the only show in town. So it's more important than ever to have that ethos. People don't have that ethos. They're tr still actually trying to say what they do in their profile headline. And saying what you do in your profile headline or saying what you do in your cover image, and even to an extent, the problem you solve, just saying the problem you solve is no longer enough. Back in 2023, it was enough to just talk about the problem you solve. Back pre-pandemic, it was just enough to say, this is what I do, this is what I do. Now listen, right now you need to build your ethos, which is your credibility and your authority. So in your headline, you need to have at the beginning, you see in mine, I've, I've mentioned how much money I've made because no matter how we put it, people want to make money. That's why. We've got Diane in the program. She exited a business of 28.3 million. And for the majority of you, even if you haven't exited a business, even if you haven't made a lot of money, you're going to have more years under your belt in what you do than the majority of these youngsters, these kids jumping on social media. So you want to use that, that to your advantage. Add that to the, to the beginning of your headline today, and that will really, really make a difference. It doesn't matter how many followers you've got if you've exited a business for 28 million, right? It doesn't matter how many followers you've got if you've got 30 years experience in your field and you've worked with people like PayPal 
and so on and so forth, household names. It doesn't matter. So that's the number two ethos. Now let's go on to number three. This is what the small LinkedIn profiles are doing better than the big ones because I, <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing while I say it because sometimes you see these profiles, they've got hundreds of thousands of followers and they haven't got two pennies to rub together to get them warm. Do you know what I mean? Because they don't know how to do this bit. And you may have guessed what this bit is. It is the most important bit in any LinkedIn profile. And it's especially important now the platform is so busy. We've reached 1 billion users. We are far from the only show in town. We're full of 1 billion competitors looking for your business. And why Why is everyone looking? You, you might be like, well, Mark, I, I sell this and they sell that. Doesn't matter. We're competing for attention. The person that's able to capture attention wins every single day of the week. And the sooner that I shifted my mindset into this battle for attention instead of competing against the other LinkedIn expert, the sooner I realized I need to do this. Because it's not like I'm going to try and do a dogfight on the platform to in the LinkedIn feed to fight for attention because people don't spend a lot of time in the LinkedIn feed. And I would challenge you if you looked at the statistics of email marketing, people spend more time in their email inbox than they do on LinkedIn especially um, decision makers that you're chasing, but you still need to get their attention on LinkedIn because it's a lot easier to get their attention on LinkedIn. So you might be asking, well, Mark, what do I do? What's the conversion mean? What's the last point of it? Very, very simply, you need to have in your featured section and just below your headline, take advantage of the link. You can do all the free ones. Link to a website, but don't link to any website. Link to a website with a landing page built specifically for this purpose. What's the landing page, Mark? The landing page is the first page someone lands on after social media. And you really want to, really want to make sure that it speaks to a problem, speaks to your authority that I just said, and everything's in place so that you can collect an email. Because once you have an email, once you've converted that person visiting your profile into an email that you know, you are in business and you can make money. Every day of the week, if you asked me and gave me the choice between 10,000 email subscribers who opted in to hear from me and 100,000 LinkedIn followers, I take the email every single time. I can download it as a CSV so it can't taken from me. I can track their clicks so I can see what they're doing. You can't do on LinkedIn. I can find everything I want to know about the audience and reach the audience when I have an email. So there we go, implement those three things today. And if you want even more detail on how to build the landing page, it's going to be put together step by step, how to do the headline, the words to use, the tones of phrase to avoid, the language to make the most of, 